Shalom Makim, your brother Kana back at you with the truth. Let's start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Rakhakadash. Hey, double honors and respect both to the apostles and elders of great millstone who do well and teach one leader Israel by grace back to this day. Peace and salutation to the elect, teaching and preaching his truth and his righteousness, fury, and sincerity. And waiting on Yahweh Shai, who the world and he called Jesus Christ for salvation. Shalom on my kill. Alright. So why do y'all buy Shimia Shai for making me come out here? A, a camp week. Another camp week. <gasps> Alright. You know, I know I've been out for a little bit. Alright. Just got um just have had a lot of priorities, a lot of business as a man. As a man, you know. Um, and just stay focused on the spirit of Yahweh by Shimia Shai. And then on top of it, we just acknowledge prophecy, man. All right, and, that, and that's very important. Okay, all right. You know, we, all right. Um, you know, we are the twelve tribes of Israel, which consists of Uniba Latinos, Native Americans, and you got Israelite foreigners. All right, who uh, mingle among the heathen nations, but uh, uh, their father's line go back to Israel. Okay, all right. And we, you know, uh, this is Babylon the Great, America going down, right, and this place is falling apart, so, you know, hey, Akim, you know, we're on the side of this bitch, you know, it's just a matter of time, waiting for the Lord to turn, okay, all right, we got the 12 tribes of Israel, this is the Hebrew Israelite chart, Okay, this consists of the Unigo Latinos, they're Americans. All right, head begin with the head tribe Judah, which is the so called uh, American blacks, Benjamin, the so called West Indians, Levi's, the so called Haitians. Okay, is that uh, Ephraim, the so called Puerto Ricans, and that's the so called Cubans. Simeon, so-called Dominican, Zebulon, so-called, uh, what's that? So-called Guatemalans, right? The Panamanians, all right? Gad and Reuben, so-called Native Americans, and so-called uh, so uh, Seminole Indians. Asher, Issachar, and Naphili, all right? Asher, the so-called Colombians. To worry, um, to your wife, it's the car, so called Mexicans, and the last is Napoli, okay, Argentinians, Chilean. Right. If you see your name or tribe on that chart, can see yourself bless you, a Hebrew is like going to the Bible. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, who we are only called God and Jehovah. This picture got washed away, Salakia, as you can see, Salakia. But the name of the heavenly father is Yahweh, whom the world only called God, Jehovah, Yahweh. The name of the uh, only begotten son, the heavenly father, only begotten son, is Yahweh Shai, whom the world only called Jesus. This is his image. He's a so-called black man. Okay. All right. So-called black man. Okay. And he's coming back to take down these nations, these kings. Okay. And come to save the uh, elect nation of Israel. When you call him, you probably must say Yahweh, which means he exists. He to be Yahweh Shai, uh, Bahashin, uh, which is coming in the name of Yahweh Shai, which means he saved, he delivers, or uh, who the world we call Jesus. His name is Yahweh Shai, okay, Bahashin, coming in the name of all right, Rachak Wadash, which is the Holy Spirit that gives us this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from the heavens, okay. This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is not coming from man. This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is coming from the Heavenly Father the only, and the only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, and the Rakakadash, which is a band of angels, all right, given unto the men today to uh, 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 basically speak in the words of righteousness, okay, speak in the words of faith, okay, wherever, wheresoever they may be. They may not be preaching and camping, but they may, they may be out there, all right, and some are still in the world, the Lord still didn't activate yet. Some some of the Lord is going to activate all right during the time of Jacob's trouble. You will know the men of the Lord, all right, by by the movements and, and by the ways uh, of of His righteousness. Okay, so we don't know who is the elect. Okay, the elect is out there. Okay, 
we just know we, we're, we're part of a calling, okay, in which the Lord called us to this to this knowledge, all right, because he he saw us, he saw he saw grace in us, man. Just like in the days of Noah, the Lord saw grace in Noah, so we represent Noah, so the Lord saw grace in us, okay? We represent Noah, okay? And we're in the final days, man, all right? The closing of an ark, and I'm going to entitle this video, The Closing of an Ark, okay? It's over, okay? It's over, all right? The, we, we're down to the final, uh, final prophecy, we're down to the final countdown, all right? All hell's get is just about to get ready to break loose. Okay, this is it. Okay, all right. You see the uh, you see an increase in demonic activity. You see an increase of, of Esau deception with the so-called white man. Okay, the 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 descendants of Esau Edom. Okay, it's over. All right. I'm not gonna make this a long camp lesson. It doesn't need to be long. Even my, even me uh, giving myself a, a, a body of a sacrifice for even two minutes, it just shows appreciation to the works of the Lord, man. Okay, this is the work of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Okay, whichever prophet I may be, I don't know. All right, but I know we are our forefathers of that. Okay, all right, we could be anybody. Okay, we don't know who we are, man. All right, the Lord is getting ready to take down this kingdom with utter fire and obliteration. This is why you must pray, all right, that Yahweh Hashem shall deliver you out of the, the time that we're entering, man. Okay, it's over. Okay, all right, the Lord is closing the ark. All right, and hey, and we, we don't know if the Lord closed the ark. He may have closed the ark and just let things flow with prophecy. Okay, letting things flow with prophecy. Okay. All right. You, you can have your camp. You can have this, but we we pray to be delivered out of the the, the hand of, of Esau, man. You pray to be delivered out of this wicked society. Okay. That's why you must repent. Come back to being an Israelite. Okay. It's your heritage. It's not a religion. It's your heritage. Although it's a belief system, you know, because different camps have different doctrines, different and. and different doctrines could cause confusion but if you know the truth okay you know the truth and you know the name of the heavenly father and his only begotten son you have no worries basically you just leveled up in the spirit all you need to know is the name of the heavenly father and the only begotten son to be delivered out of this wicked society all right and, and, and come out of the ways of being a nigga of what what what, what you was before all right when you once you know this truth you level up you don't don't enslave yourself didn't the scripture say, uh, 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 um, you should know the truth and the truth shall sh set you free? Let me grab it real quick. Okay. Because Esau had twisted out the minds of our people. Okay. You got even, you, you got niggas being niggas and you got niggas in, 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 in camps. Okay. You just, you, you just. Basically, you got niggas that's upgraded Israelites that know the Bible, okay? That's all it is. Upgraded niggas that know the Bible. That's why you got to check your spirit constantly, man, to see whether you be in the faith, okay? This is very important. Check your spirit, man. Alright, John, the book of John, chapter 8. Alright. Let's start at verse 28. Then said, who the world only called Jesus? His name is Yahweh Shai. Okay. The name Jesus came from uh, the Latin. Okay. Which which really means earth pig. Which is a disrespect to the, the heavenly father, only begotten son. His true name is Yahweh Shai. Okay. This is all Hebrew tongue. All right. This is this is a, a transliteration, meaning further that further down translation of, of what the true name supposed to be, and that's what and that's what Esau, that's where Esau really deceived our people. Okay, 
deceived that our people by hiding the true name of the only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? To prevent our people from knowing who the Lord, our uh, only begotten son is. So now they're calling the Lord God, Jehovah, because they see, when they see a verbatim, all right, they don't want to do the uh, uh, analysis, the research on who the heavenly father only begotten son. Because the J didn't come to existence until 1524. Okay, 1524, that's when the letter J was established by the Renaissance, uh, uh, Gian Tresino, all right? What's his face, man? His name is Gian Tresino. That's all you need to know. And he's an Italian Renaissance, which means he's an Edomite, all right? Come back, he goes back to the Caucasian race, okay? Then said Yahweh unto them, when ye have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall ye know that I am he. You see? I am he. And the only men that are going to be lifting up the name of Yahweh Shai is the men that know Yahweh Shai's name, man. All right? That's it. That comes in the right spirit. Okay? The men that have been taught properly. Okay? The name of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. All right? And that comes, hey, let's, and let's be honest, that comes from the elders. Okay, that it comes that comes from the elders on earth. Alright. Okay. But you always keep in mind you take this truth for yourself. You learn it for yourself first, man. Okay? Then you can teach others. Okay? Okay, you know, hey the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, hey, set them up. That's an, just an example. But it's what you do with the truth, man. Okay? Are you gonna use it for the right reason or the wrong reasons? Every man have their different doctrines, all right, or a different way of spitting the truth, but it is only one truth, man. All right, it comes to a conclusion there's only one truth, and that's just worship Yahweh Bashim Shai and no other God, okay? And it says, When ye have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall ye know that I am He, and that I do nothing of myself. See, the Lord. Man, but but as my father have taught me, I speak these things. See, the Lord Yahweh Shai never boasts himself. Okay, he came he came down here on a mission, all right, to boast his father Yahweh. Okay, and now we're here on a mission to boast our big brother Yahweh Shai, who's truly coming back, all right, with great power and glory, all right, of the whole heavens. Okay, all right, he's coming back with a, a multitude of angels. Powerful, strong black men are coming back, okay, to uh, uh, take over the earth, man. It's gonna, it's gonna be a black man takeover, okay? It's gonna be a complete table takeover. You, you Edomites is gonna run scared shit, okay? And he has, he that sent me is with me. The Father hath not left me alone, for I do always those things that please him. Ain't Yahweh Shai always with us? So what we got to worry about, brothers? Why are you why are you uh, why are you being over righteous? Why are you being why are you being uh, uh, a paranoid? All right, you shouldn't be waking up saying the Lord gonna destroy you. You should be waking up rejoicing that you know the name of the Lord, man. You should be waking up rejoicing that uh, uh, you have you have a chance at salvation. You are in a better seat than everybody else, man. All right, you brothers remember that you're in a better seat than everybody else. Okay? You shouldn't be fucking scared, man. Okay? You owe man you owe no man nothing. Okay? You walk with the spirit of Yahweh Ba Shim Yahweh Shai in confidence. Okay? Remember the Lord said he's gonna root out his confidence. Who's confident? The fucking wicked. The fucking wicked is gonna get rooted out, man. And this is gonna be our kingdom, our world, man. Remember that. So you better, better shape up or get shipped out, man. Okay? All right? Live your fucking life. Okay? You know the truth. You know Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai knows you. Yahweh Shai knew you before you even knew yourself as being an Israelite. Okay? We all deserve, we, hey, we all deserve to be destroyed to, truthfully. But the Lord gave us a chance, grace, mercy. Remember that. Okay? Remember that the Lord gave us grace and mercy and a chance of salvation. Yahweh Shai came here to show Israel, you are not a nigga. 
okay? You are not niggas, man. Okay, even the disciples, see, the disciples have fucking doubt. Yahweh Shah had to rebuke their fucking thoughts, man. Okay? You're, you're kings, you're gods. Keep that in mind, man. Okay? Wake up, brothers. Okay? Get out of the matrix. Alright? And if this mission is applied to you, look into yourself. Because it, 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 the shoe, the shoe, uh, alright? The shoe goes where it fits. Okay? And if it doesn't fit, then hey, you know, take it off and try it on a different pair. That night that might not be the doctrine. But the truth of the truth and it always will remain victorious. No matter what. Lies can't overcome the truth. The truth always overcome lies. But there's different ways of spitting the truth, right? So enough ran it on. Um but we're here to please Yahweh Shai, just like he pleased his father when he was here 2,000 years ago. He came to told the disciples, you're, you're gods, man. You, you ain't niggas. You're, you're gods, man. Get that, get that fucking doubtful thoughts out of your mind. You're gods. That's what Yahweh Shai came and showed uh, 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 our forefathers, man. Okay? And he spake these words, and many believed on him. See? He spoke with flavor and salt. Okay, he spoke with a, a different kind of spirit. Okay, not the the wacky tacky wicked ass churches. Your 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 your, your, your church of Baptist, your church of God, your, your Seventh Day Adventist. They're all false uh, 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 pastors, man. All false prophets. And the Lord is gonna utterly, all right, deal with them, and what in due season, let them live their life, let them get their glory, let them get their money. Okay, but when the Lord visits these things, okay. When the Lord visit these things, they're going to remember, all right, there was a prophet among them, okay? There was a prophet among them, all right? All right? We're coming out here to do the Lord's word, right? But it's okay, man. It's okay to, you know, collect a little money or whatever. There ain't nothing wrong with it. There ain't nothing wrong with helping the homeless, you know? But remember, hey. Better is to die than to beg, okay? But if you, you know, if, if a homeless man or woman is not even asking for anything, you know, and, and they on the side, you know, why not give them a little food or give them a little money? Otherwise, you're being selfish. You're supposed to be selfless, not selfish, okay? You're supposed to have Yahweh Shai rule our spirit. Now, we, now we are uh, being a chaotic. We're supposed to rule over our spirit as Yahweh Shai is ruling our spirit. And it says, then said Yahweh Shai to those Jews, Jews is short for Judah, okay? To those Jews which believed on him, ye, if ye, if you continue in my word, and what I say, who's the word? Yahweh Shai himself is the word. In my word, if you listen to what I say, right? It says, then are ye my disciples indeed. See, if you continue in my word until what? Until the end. Until you come back, right? No matter what, hold it, basically holding it down, as the world says, right? All right? Holding it down for your crown, all right? Or, 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 or ride or die, right? Riding for the word of Yahweh Shai, right? Because the, 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 the scriptures are all about Yahweh Shai himself. It says, and ye shall know the truth, right? If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. See, holding it down, all right. Not not being um, not being hypnotized by man or, or or not being hypnotized by the world. Okay. All right. Now, hey, we're just men. All right, we're just men. But if you if you grab into the spirit and honor the spirit, all right, you're more than just a man. Okay. You're going to make it, you, basically, you're part angel, okay? And how an angel moves, you got to keep that in mind, brothers. An angel moves freely. Be free, man. That's why I, just, that's why I want to go into this. Verse 32. You, ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free, right? The truth shall make you free, okay? Your mind's supposed to be free. Free from the bands of man or bands of the world, okay? 
all right? And I'm not talking about free and, and, and wickedness. I'm talking about free and righteousness. You're supposed to think clearly, okay? You're supposed to lay off the pork, lay off the shrimp. Do your diligence and research of what the Lord is talking about. Understand the word, man. Okay? It's about understanding. Understanding, it, it takes a great level, all right, of experience to gain understanding. Understanding is not an overnight thing in this truth. Understanding takes years on top of years on top of years. Why do you think the elders is where they at? They've developed some sort of understanding, all right, to stand where they at, right? So understanding is not just a simple walk in the park word. This is an everlasting word. The word understanding, and many don't understand it. Understanding is basically like 5% of this world. And that's the, the, the men that believe in Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, all right? And sincerity and truth and faith, especially. All right? So you should know the truth, and the truth shall let make you be free. Um, Let's get Isaiah. I'm gonna wrap it up, man. But I wanna come out here to say this. Brothers, you're kings and you're gods. Okay, remember that. Don't bring yourself down, bring yourself up. All right, put on nice clothes. Love yourself, man. All right, love, love your neighbor as yourself. All right, you're supposed to respect a brother. You're supposed to teach a brother, uplift a brother when he's down. Reach out to a brother, okay? As Yahweh Shai loved us, we shall love our brothers too, the same way we love Yahweh Shai, man. If we see a brother, we see a brother as Yahweh Shai, so we're supposed to what? Honor that brother, respect that brother, love that brother, no matter what. Because, hey, we're going to be seeing each other in the kingdom regardless every single day, man. We're going to be gods, man. You want to be on a whole nother level, a whole nother body, a whole nother uh, spirit. Our spiritual level is going to be on a whole nother level. And that's why I always say this, level up, brothers. All right? I don't know what prophet I am. I don't know where I sit. All right? Any one of us can be King David. Any one of us can be Isaiah, Jeremiah. But just know, we know the name of Yahweh Baha Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? All right? That don't worry about who you are. Okay? Worry about salvation first. Okay? Worry about taking care of uh, 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 taking care of your, your responsibilities as a man. Don't rely on don't don't, don't rely on and uh, fall upon, you know, a woman's money or or, or, or other man's problems or affairs, man. Worry about yourself. Get your shit done. Okay? Alright? Grow in the spirit. That's what it's about, man. All right, uh, Isaiah 58, verse 1. Cry aloud, spirit not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. And what's going on? Our people fucking up, man. All right, smoke a drug down, all right, uh, committing adultery, whoredom, right? And who they learn this from? The heathen. The heathen teaches these things, the so-called white man, Chinese, Indian, African, okay? They teach uh, uh, how to be wicked, okay? All right, you're supposed to come out of that way, man, all right? Come out of that way, right? Learn not the way of the heathen, the scriptures say, right? So we show in the house of Jacob their sin. Stop eating the pork. Stop eating the shrimp, right? The shrimp they, they eat. They feed on feces. They feed on uh, a dead uh, 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 corpse, corpses, right? The pig they feed on corpses. They feed on they feed on uh, uh, maggots, worms. Okay, that's why you. Want, that's why when people eat the pig, they get what tank worms. Okay. People eat the shrimp, they're gonna get what? Uh, 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 maggots, right? Uh, uh, um, okay? Sea worms, right? All right? Your body breaks down. You don't even know if you're eating a shrimp that has flesh, uh, the flesh eating virus in it, right? So that's why you don't eat these things, man. You go to, you're not supposed to go to the barber shop, get lineups. Israel used to do this. This is the, the house of Jacob, their sins. All right, come in a dog. You're not supposed to fuck with another man's woman. Just like uh, basically fuck with another philosophy, that's like fuck with a, a neck, a, another woman, man. A next man's woman, okay? You're not supposed to fuck with another philosophy. You're supposed to stick to the truth. Stick to your power, okay? 
Those guys are whores, okay? They get, they, they, they're whoring up uh, 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 to another other gods, right? They ain't worshiping Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. That's why you don't follow the way of the heathen and choose none of their ways, okay? Yet they seek me daily and delight to know my ways as a nation that did righteousness and forsook not the ordinance of their power. They ask me the ordinances of justice. They take delight in approaching to power, right? And only, only the elect is going to approach Yahweh Hashem Yahshai in sincerity and truth because we know we're in a fucked up state, man. We always need help. It's all right to get help, man. Get help, right? If you need food stamps, you go get food stamps. He's starting to put this shit out for, here for no reason. Yeah, the, the devil's supposed to get at least ten percent, right? As we supposed, what, what, as we supposed to get ten percent, right? You give ten percent to the priest. We are priests. If you need money, you go get money, man. You preach and you go get 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 some cash. Why not? It's, it's not it's not a sin, okay? We're priests, okay? All right, it's all right. Okay, the Lord, the Lord watches every activity via His angels, man. So, never feel ashamed. You're a god, brothers. You Israelites are gods. Th th those that are hearing this truth. Okay. Otherwise, you don't want to be a god. The Lord could, hey, the Lord could just, uh, just bring you right back to Him. The Lord could kill your ass, man. All right. You, y'all want to be motherfucking niggas? All right. The Lord could. The Lord could give you uh, the the reward of being a nigger. Death. Kill your ass. The Lord will kill your ass, man. Alright? You wanna fuck with guns and gangbang? Alright. What's your gift? You gonna get shot up? God damn it. That is what it is. Okay? You you stay away from evil. That's why the scriptures say, thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Don't follow what the devils is doing. Okay? You wanna follow what the devils is doing? That's on you. You don't get smoked like the devil. Let me get um Jeremiah four twenty two. Yeah, man, I still got it. Cause the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai don't go anywhere. Okay, I may be having camp for two three months, but the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai doesn't go anywhere, man. And that's how you know the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai is true. Okay, I'm still out here. Okay. Jeremiah 4 and 12, 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are saddest children, stupid stupid kids. They have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Wanna do all these bullshit challenges, killing themselves, man. Oh, you step on my shoes, you wanna shoot a man. Alright, you wanna rob you wanna rob stores. Alright, putting stores out of business because you get broke ass. Can't learn how to save money. Want to burn your money on, on, on a pair of Jordans and, and, and uh, take women out and burn all your money on drinks. That's not the wise way to go. Okay, it's not wise. Okay, it's okay to have a little drink or two every now and then, but over uh, uh, over indulging and buying bottles and you know smoking all your money out every almost every weekend. That's not wise, man. Okay. For my people is foolish, they have not known me. They don't know Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. They don't know the righteous power. He's the power of balance. Okay? Alright? He's the power of balance. He, he's, he's about good and evil. Why do you think the wicked is wi wi uh, ruling the way they are? Because the Lord gave them the, wi uh, the kingdom. Alright? To rule wickedly. So the Lord could destroy them. Having them to self destruct. The, the wicked go and destroy the wicked. By destroying themselves, man. That have not, that have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. They don't have knowledge of, of being good. Right? But they research on how to credit card scam, on a, or how to rob a bank, or how to uh, hijack a car, or how to steal Cadillac converters, right? How to steal food, how to not pay for a, a, a dinner at a restaurant, okay? Our people are wise to do evil, but to do good, no knowledge, all right? So you don't want to follow the ways of the wicked, because they're going to make you stupid. When you avoid the wicked and, and play stupid, that's wise, okay? Let's read Jeremiah 10 and 
1. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, see the house of Israel, the people before the place. It's not a place. All right? It was a person before it was a place. Okay? And who was Israel? All right? Jacob. Okay? He was given the blessings from Isaac. Esau wasn't given the blessings from Isaac. Esau was given what the sword, all right, and a big ass curse after he rules with the sword. Okay, Jacob got the blessings. Okay, the Lord saw Jacob fit for the blessing. Okay, Esau was was, was just a, a vessel used to uh, punish Jacob, and that's what he's doing now, still punishing Jacob, right? But the Lord is going to reverse that and punish Esau's ass with Jacob, right? And Jacob is going to be kings and gods, right? The house of Jacob, okay? So, O house of Israel, which is the people for the place you Negro Latinos and Americans, all right? All right. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, learn not the way of the heathen. What, birthday, holidays, right? We already some of your holidays, things killing, Halloween, this is the spirit of evil, witchcraft. Hey, the Lord calls in the ark, okay? Be not just made of signs of heaven, right? We just had a, a solar eclipse, all right? We just had a, what, a solar a lunar eclipse, right? And it, it, they call it the ring of fire. That means Yahweh is, is on his way, all right? And the Yahweh is very, very close because you can see the changes of the terminal system. You can see the beast rising against the horn. You can see a... Uh, 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 they, uh, 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 the NATO and the EU break it, all right? You can see a lot of activity happening, okay? They're about to roll out the market of beasts, microchips, chipping stations, robots is, is starting to establish. So to every negative, this is going to be a positive, right? And when they do this, the men of the Lord is increasing in spirit, right? Who, where so other than they may be, okay? The Lord is going to give his men spiritual power, because they're going to be robots attacking the people with, with chaotic power, right? Shooting lasers and guns and this and that. So what's the what's the opposite of these negatives of these robots? The Lord giving his men spiritual power, man. Super super speed, flight, uh, 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 teleportation, uh, telekinesis, right? You name it. The laundry list goes on and on and on. And we're going to get these powers, brothers, wheresoever you may be. And whosoever I may be, man. Because I pray all you brothers get power man but some brothers is not going to get power some brothers might uh, uh uh just might just get delivered right some brothers you know might be a martyr who knows man just stay confident okay stay positive that's all that matters okay for the heathen are dismayed at the signs of at dismayed at them right so it says, for the custom of the people are vain for one cut of a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They deck it with silver and and with gold. They fasten it with nails and hammers that it not may not move, that it move not. And what's that? Christmas, right? The pine tree, right? They like to put pine tree fastened, you know, and decorated with bullshit, all right? And that's like worshiping a penis, okay? Okay, that goes back to Nimrod, right? So let me get uh, Genesis. Let me get the uh, Old Testament. I think it was eight. Genesis chapter 6 and God saw the wickedness of man and was was great in the earth see that and that every imagination the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually see the Heavenly Father saw the wickedness of man and it, it increased by margins and, uh, and, and just be overly wicked killing each other right uh, 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 
the cannibalism, right? Eating, eating, eating um, babies and stuff. The heart of man is becoming wicked. It's wicked. They want to mind control. They want to control people. Okay, man and woman, right? What the fuck is a woman doing in the government office, running shit? What if what the fuck a woman is doing uh, being a judge? She don't know shit. The woman is a fucking tool, man. All right, the woman is a tool. You're supposed to run the bitch. Okay, You're supposed to run these women. All right, they're tools. All right, they're made to please man. They they help me unto men. Right, her desire shall be towards her husband. Right. Women are, are our instruments, right? They put the, uh, uh, we, we give them the seeds from out from from the man, right? The sperm shoots in the egg, and they and they basically nurture the baby for nine months. Their job is to, to nurture the baby, right? Take and, and please their husbands, all right? They're not supposed to disrespect and uh, uh, speak over their husband. They're supposed to honor their husband, bow down to your husband, you dumb bitches. Okay? And a lot of you women who want to think independent, you're going to get fucking destroyed. Okay? You will got, you will got a, a special visit for y'all, man, when that time comes. Okay? So, and God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, that and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually, and it is worse now. It's way worse now. People are very evil today. All right? Thinking about the days of Noah... Uh, all right, from over what, five, five, six thousand years ago. All right, they were they was thinking evil. They did all sorts of abomination, but it wasn't as bad as now. Now it's like Sodom, and Gomorrah, days of Noah, uh, uh, the days of Egypt, all in one kingdom. They are doing everything wicked. All right, this is the most evilest kingdom. All right, in planet Earth history. And what do you think the Lord's got got for this, man? All right, nuclear, you got it right, nuclear missiles. Nuclear missiles are going to destroy this place, America. All right, the, the angels of the Hawabah Hashem is going to burn up this wicked, defiled, this, the, uh, uh, disgusting kingdom. The Lord's going to devour this kingdom with fire, man. And it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth and it grieved him at his heart. So the Lord is pissed off, man, again. Again, and, and times 10, way more pissed off, okay? Why do you think there's been floods all over the place, all over the earth, all right? The Lord is pissed off, okay? So this is uh, uh, all kingdoms in one, the whore, right? So the verse 7, and the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, and the creeping thing. And the fowls of the air, for it repented me that I have made them. All right, and people think, oh, the universe was uh, part of Darwinism and evolution theory, all this madness. Okay, all right, these are all philosophies that will destroy you, man. Okay, and but Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord, but the prophets found grace in the eyes of the Lord, and we're in a grace period. You're in the period of faith. If you don't got faith, you're going to get destroyed. Okay? Okay? And you got, and brothers, have faith in everything you do. Okay? Have faith in everything you do. These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man, right? And perfect in his generation. And Noah walked with the Heavenly Father. He walked with power. See? And that's what we're doing today, brothers. We're walking with Yahweh Shai. Okay. Let's read Isaiah 57, verse 1. The righteous perish, and no man live to heart. So when one of us, men of the Lord, die, nobody think about us, man. All right? All they think is negativity. But when, like, Pop Smoke die, uh, Kobe Bryant die, everybody honor that, everybody worship that. But when a, a man of God come uh, preach the word on the street corners, right? And all of a sudden he gets sick and die. Nobody ain't thinking about us. Nobody don't get two shits about us, all right? They just rather us dead. But with Pop Smoke and uh, Biggie and Tupac, everybody talk about that death. But when it comes to the men of the Lord, uh -uh. the righteous 
perish and no man live to his mind to his heart and merciful men are taken away none considering that the righteous is taken away from the evil to come see and there's more evil coming man a lot of evil is coming so a lot of you negro latinos and americans better repent and be sorry for your sins the time is running out and this is the closing of a spiritual arc it's not physical because uh, five thousand years ago that was the boat but this time it's in a it's a spiritual boat all right and you want to get on that spiritual boat so this is the closing of an arc okay time is running out you negro latinos they're americans okay you women better get it together and we'll find a man of the lord because that's their only salvation okay so the lord's gonna start beaming up his men you're gonna start seeing angels all over the place right they, they find us the, they flying in the uh the disc in the sky you can't see them because they cloak okay and there's millions of them right now as we speak okay they're above my head all right and they're everywhere flooding the earth all right different parts of the earth okay so time is running out man he shall enter into peace they shall rest in their beds each one walking in his uprightness okay so hey man we we know we know the end thereof for the society all right and if, hey if the lord if the lord take one of us out hey that's a mer and that's mercy all right you don't have to walk through jacob's trouble <laughs> but blessed is he that w can walk through jacob's trouble because greatest is you to get uh, uh basically see all prophecies man okay get the full spectrum of the power of your Shem how about shy you're gonna get spiritual power you're gonna get protection of the angels and they're gonna manifest themselves physically, man. They're gonna, you're gonna see them. You're gonna see them, man. You're gonna see the angels of Yahweh by Hashem on Earth. All right, you're gonna see the full power. You're gonna see black men with beards. All right, all right, woolly hair. Okay, whether you be black woolly hair or white woolly hair, you're gonna see the angels of Yahweh by Hashem on Shine. And I believe that. Okay, I believe that through the spirit, power, and mercy of Yahweh by Hashem on Shine. And the Lord got to my back. I believe the Yahweh Shem Yahweh is going to protect me from all evil to come. And I believe I'm going to get spiritual power, God damn it. Because I earned it. Because I believe in my power. I believe in Yahweh Shai. And that's faith. Alright. So let me get um a few more and close it out. Let's read Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. Now faith, what is faith? Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. All right? We, we don't see Yahweh Shai. We don't see the angels. But we have faith that they're there. We have faith that the Lord is watching every activity. We have faith, all right, that the Lord is going to save us out of Babylon the Great, which is America, the most vilest kingdom in planet Earth history. All right, for by the, the by it the elders obtain a good report. Through faith we understand. See that key word, understand. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, which is Yahushai. So Yahushai created everything. All right, he's the word. Right. So that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. See. So we see the we see the tree, we see people, we see cars, we see guns, we see all right evil shit. But we can't see all right the the, the spiritual. We can't see the angels. All right, we can't see uh, 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 the left hand angels, evil spirits. All right, you have good spirits, you have evil spirits. Okay, but the Lord, all of this belongs to the Lord. Let's jump down to verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. Who's him? The heavenly father and the only begotten son who the world is called Jesus Christ. The name is Yahweh and the only begotten son is Yahweh Shai. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. You have to have faith. Okay? For he that cometh to the heavenly father must believe that he is. 
okay, he must believe that he is, and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him, constantly meditating upon the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's why Isaiah 33. Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be, that's faith right there. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. Your time and the strength of salvation, the fear of Yahweh is his treasure. So the fear of the Lord is the treasure, brothers. Fear the Lord. Okay, and that's the beginning of knowledge and that's the beginning also of wisdom. Okay, that's what's going to get you delivered. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to wrap it up, brothers. Okay. Let's start with Amos chapter 3, verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? And it not the Bible considered a trumpet? So is a trumpet being blown in the city, all right? Blown in, in, in the land of New York, right? The Bible's coming out. Shall the trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and Yahweh have not done it, right? The Heavenly Father have not done it, right? So the, the Lord did it, right? The, that's a rhetorical question. Yahweh by Hashem Yahshai destroyed wicked places, okay? That's right. That's why you see war going on in uh, Iran and Israel, right? But those are the fake, fake Jews out there, okay? The Lord hate those people. Okay, they're all wicked and they're heathen. That's not the people. Of, that's not the people of God, man. All right, those are the people of Satan that's out in Israel. That's why this that place is getting bombed up because the Lord's gonna fight in Israel, right? The Valley of Jehoshaphat, all right, Yahweh Shaphat, right? That's where the Lord's gonna fight. Okay, fight you heathen and put you on in complete dust. He's gonna blast you out of smithereens, man. Okay. So, surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets to his servant, the prophets. Yahweh Hashem Yahshai revealed his secrets to the servants, the prophets, even from the beginning, even unto the end. All right, we've been with the Lord, okay? We are willing, we are those men, we are the Alahayim that have been with Yahweh Hashem Yahshai from the foundations of the earth and heavens, okay? But we made all of this. This all belonged to the men of the Lord. Okay? I'm going to close it. Uh, I'm going to close it up, brothers. Hey, but the Wadi al for, uh, you know, putting the spirit upon me to come out here. Close it with two more. Proverbs chapter 8, verse... Let's start at uh, 32. Now therefore hearken unto me, O ye children, O ye sons. For blessed are they that keep my ways. Keep the ways of faith. All right? We can't live by the laws. All right? Because we will get destroyed but by being over-righteous. The law, the, hey, the law is not done away with. All right? But we practice. Right? It's a rehearsal. Okay? It's a, it's a rehearsal for, the, for what's to come. Things are written on four time for our learning. All right? So in the kingdom, we're going to be able to keep all the laws. Perfectly. Right now, hey brothers, have faith. Live your life. Okay? Just don't be a nigger. That's it. Live your life, but don't be a nigger. Buy the clothes you like, buy the shoes you like. Make the money you need to make. Alright? Alright? Don't be yeah, be if you want to be rich, that's on you. But just make sure you remember Yahweh Ba Shimia Shah. Because remember, Yahweh Shah had a secret disciple. Okay? He was rich as hell. Nobody knew. Okay. Alright? So live your life, brothers. Okay. All right. If it's not in your spirit to camp, hey, don't camp. Shit. But you just meditate upon the word. If you don't, if you can't camp, that's what it is. All right. But you need to relax your mind every now and then, bro. You need to relax your mind. Otherwise, it will drive you crazy. All right. So hey, brothers. You know. Hey, I see a chariot. Call on Allah, Yah, Bashim, Yah, Shai, Bashim, Kakadash. Hey, Rakti Al Bashim Yo Shai. See? So the Lord's watching, man. You know, don't drive yourself nuts, brothers. Alright? Take it easy, one day at a time. Because, hey, uh, uh, the scriptures say, um, no man, no man 
on earth, not even the heavens, know when Yahweh is going to send Yahweh Shai back. Nobody knows when the Lord's coming back. As a matter of fact, let's read that. I want to read that. The book of Acts, chapter 1, verse 6. Because nobody knows when the Lord is coming back. Okay? And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father put in his own power. Right? So it's not... Wait, wait. Excuse me. Salakia. Let's read chapter... Acts chapter 1, verse 6. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, when thou at this time, wilt thou at this time restore the kingdom again to Israel? And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father had put in his own power. So it's not for us to know what when the Yahweh Hashem all right, going to uh, basically establish the uh, kingdom of Israel. You will know. Okay, you will know. All right, when when this devil go out of power, when all hell break loose, all right, then you will know that's the kingdom coming in. Okay, so let's see, and it says, he said unto them, it is not for you to know. Excuse me, verse eight. But ye shall receive power, right? I Meaning when chaos happen, but ye shall receive power, and that's spiritual power. Okay, so the men of the Lord is gonna have spiritual power, and women love power, right? So women are going to flock over to the men of the Lord that have power, right? So your guns, your, your grenades ain't going to work against men that have superpowers, right? So, but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit is come upon you, and ye shall be witness unto me in Jerusalem and all of Judea, Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Spiritual power is happening right now. Me, us preaching the word, brothers, that's spiritual power within itself, all right? Is, is breaking the minds of people they're, they're like what the hell is going on what kind of how they know the bible so well how they could how do they assume the bible is like this no we're not assuming this is the fact and figures of the scriptures okay because we are the children of israel okay we are the children of yahweh we're gods god damn it all right if the lord want to put the put the spirit on me to fly i could fly right but right now the lord turned off our spiritual power we just gotta wait Wait till he's he rises up against the prey. That's why he has all the chariots watching over the men of the Lord. But they they're about to activate our power, man. Our power is about to be activated, brothers. It's a, just a matter of time. And women love men with power, right? So if you go, you start get ready to see millions of women uh, uh, flocking over to you, brothers, who have spiritual power. But that they want they want protection. Women want protection. They want uh, 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 to be comforted. They want they want a, sh a, a, a shelter over their head. So the man, a man is going to be like a hiding place or a covert of the wind. Isaiah chapter thirty-two, verse two, the second verse. Okay, go read on your own leisure. Okay. Let me read uh, the prophecy of when Yahweh Shai is coming back. Because no man knows when the Lord is coming back. There's no such thing as a fucking seven-year uh, uh, tribulation. There's no such thing. Okay? This the, the world would have been gone already if that happened. Okay? There's no such thing. Okay? So, Matthew chapter 24, verse 35. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass. So, the physical uh, uh, earth... Okay, it's gonna get fucked up by the Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay, the, the, the heaven why? because it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a space fight, right? It's gonna be Esau with his fighter just fighting against the Lord and his angels, right? Verse thirty-six. But of that day and hour, no, no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. No man, not even Yahweh Shai himself, don't know when he's coming to uh, uh, deliver the elect. It's all in the power of the Father. When the Father's ready, the Father's ready. You won't know when the Father's ready. Okay? When you start to see more activities happening on earth. But as the days of Noah were, so shall the also the coming of the Son of Man be. See? For as the days that were 
before the flood, they were eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage until the day Noah entered the ark and knew not until the flood came and took took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. See, when Yahweh Shai comes back, every the scripture said, every eye shall see him as he is. Right? Every man, woman, beast, creeping creeping thing is going to see Yahweh Shai, man. Everything, everything on earth is going to see our Lord as a so-called black man with white woolly hair, green garment, coming down with pure power. Okay, everybody's going to see Yahweh Shai. He's going to ride on top of that chariot. God damn it. Believe it. Believe it. You're going to see him. All right? My big brother is coming to fuck you you, you crackers up, man. And you other nations. Y'all all going to slavery. So, um, and you can read that in uh, Revelation, the 13th chapter. All right? He that leading the captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. There's the patient and the faith of the saints, right? Um, Proverbs 8 Not therefore hearken unto me, O ye children 8, Proverbs chapter 8, verse 32 For blessed are they that keep my ways Hear instruction and be wise, refuse it not Blessed is the man that heareth me Watching daily at my gates Waiting at the post of my doors And how you watch the Lord daily? All right, by meditating upon the scriptures, okay? Even if it's just one scripture, brothers, they don't over indulge yourself. Even if it's one scripture, brothers, it can be, it can even be as newborn babes, ye shall desire the sincere, sincere milk thereof. That one scripture is the demolish every doctrine that's out there, bro. All right? Every doctrine that's out there, even if it's wisdom and knowledge, shall be the stability of thy time. When you meditate upon that scripture, you're gonna to start to see and understand what that scripture is talking about. You're gonna see different avenues of, of that scripture. See, one scripture could have multitudes and similitudes, right? So it opens up a, a, a broadcast of knowledge, okay? So don't beat yourself up, brothers. Just have faith in Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, all right? Call him with a pure language, and that's the Hebrew tongue. Okay. If he had known my name, I will I will save him. Remember that Psalms 91, that whole chapter, read it. Blessed is the man that hears me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the post of my doors. For whoso findeth me findeth life and shall obtain favor of Yah of the Lord, Yahweh Shai. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me hate righteousness. Love death, love wickedness, right? Um, and then we're gonna close it with uh, Ecclesiastes. And I'm just gonna quickly read Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with the sword destruction. Babylon the Great, America will destroy you with the sword destruction, will pollute your mind with poison. So, America will pollute your mind with full of uh, abomination and nonsense and confusion. Okay, get away from it. Let's read Ecclesiastes 12. Remember now the thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw near nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Let's jump down. Okay, so remember your creator, remember Yahweh. The heavenly father and his only begotten son Yahweh shot okay it says the words of wise are as gold and as the jump down to verse 11 let's start with verse 10 the preacher sought out to find out acceptable words and that which was written was upright even words of truth and that's upright speech words of truth is the scriptures okay all right Give not thy strength unto women which destroy kings. Don't give your strength unto women, brothers. Okay? Keep your knowledge for yourself. All right? Your woman's your woman, she's a tool. Okay? She's supposed to do what she do. Cook, clean, you know, give you pussy. All right? Hey, that's what a woman's job is supposed to do. She ain't supposed to sneak over you. She ain't supposed to tell you what to do. Okay? You're supposed to come in an agreement. 
But she not supposed to tell you what to do, brothers. You do what you want to do. Fuck you hoes, man. <laughs> Straight up. All right? Because in the kingdom, the women the women would be righteous, right? The, well, you know, they would be better. I ain't going to call it. Ain't no woman righteous. The man is righteous. Okay? But there would be there will be a, 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 a virtuous woman okay, in the kingdom. Um, let's see. The words of the wise are as golds and as nails fastened by masters of assemblies which are given from one shepherd. So Yahweh Shai give us the word and we ain't moving. Okay, We keeping this word till we, we go back to see Yahweh Shai himself. And further by these, my son, be not a much of many, making many books. There is no end. And much study is weariness of the flesh. So don't keep on overindulging in the scriptures, brothers. All right, even if you know one to two, one to five scriptures, you're good. Don't worry about it, man. Believe in Yahweh Bashim Yasha. Understand Deuteronomy chapter 28, the curses on our people. That's all you need to know. That the Lord is in control. Okay? All right? The Lord controls death, He controls life. All right? He controls destruction and He controls salvation. All the weights is in, in, in the bag of the Lord. All right? It says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahshua and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. For Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahshua shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. See, the Lord's going to bring everything into judgment, whether it be good or whether it be evil, man. Okay? So we have nothing to fear, brothers. Man, I feel like I have one more, but. All right, let's read Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 12. We're going to close it here. For man also knoweth not his time, as the fishes that are taken in the evil net, and as the birds that are caught in, in the snare. So are the sons of man snared in an evil time. When we are snared, snared in an evil time, brothers, okay? When it falleth suddenly upon them, this wisdom have I seen under the sun, and it seemed great unto me, okay? It's, I'm going to close it. Uh, there was a little city and a few men within it, the elect, and there came a great king against it and besieged it and built great bulwarks against it. Now there was found in it a poor wise man, and by and he by his wisdom delivered the city. Yet no man remembered the same poor man. Then said I, wisdom is better than strength. Nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom is despised. And his words are not heard. The words of wise men are heard in quiet more than the quiet cry of him that ruleth among fools. Wisdom is better than weapons of war, but one sinner destroyeth much good. So, hey, brothers, it's better to be wise, right? It's better to have wisdom than all the riches of the world, right? So that's what's going to get us delivered, brother. Spiritual power is coming to the left. Seven women shall take a hold of one man, saying, We shall eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Just please call us by our, our by your name, all right, to take away our reproach. That's Isaiah chapter 4, verse 1, all right? And the scripture also says that we're going to be fed in the time of famine, all right? Ye, sh uh, uh, ye shall eat, right? Ye, ye, ye shall uh, drink, ye shall uh, 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 rejoice, right? So the Lord is going to uh, basically take care of his elect, right? We're going to have shelter. We're going to have an abundance of food. And uh, hey, hey, if you need money, ask you how about Shem He will provide, right? So ask the Lord to help me pay all my bills off. You know, the Lord, just pray to the Lord and he will deliver you. But you have to ask it in sincerity and truth, right? Hey, brothers, it's not a, this, this vanity world is about to go away. So this is, this is the uh, closing of an arc. And hey, spiritual power is come, definitely coming to the men of the Lord if you truly believe. So, you know, this devil's going down. You know, and, and a lot of you, Jake's going to take the fucking microchip. All right? And 
the Lord's gonna fucking destroy your ass. And the Lord's gonna fuck you, Jake's up. Whoever take the chip, okay? Cause they already changing the uh, the systems. So Lord willing, this camp lesson was edifying and uplifting. All right, cause this 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 is the closing of an arc, man. And this is it. You may not see this uh, my next camp video for some time, but just know that Yahweh Shemay Hashai is with you, brothers. Okay. So famine of the word is moving in but they already took down some of my videos so hey it's just that we have the truth so i'm gonna end up by giving all praise and honor and glory to yahweh double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone who well and teach well and lead the israel by great example to this day peace and citation to the elect teaching and preaching the truth and the righteousness period and sincerity and waiting on yahweh shai from the world and called jesus christ for jesus christ for salvation Quam yasharala in the Bible ball, death to America, Shalom Omar, Kim, stay strong in the spirit. You want out of here with the salvation of Yahweh Shalom, stay strong. Keep the faith, keep the faith. And power, power, and power, brothers. Shalom Omar, Kim. Level up in the spirit. You almost Shalom.